Researchers at Imperial and clinicians at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust have successfully used kisbeptin to stimulate ovulation in women at risk of developing complications during IVF. I met with Hannah, a patient who received the treatment at Hammersmith Hospital, to find out how it's changed her life. We'd been to the fertility clinic in Oxford and started the first stages down the route of investigation. It hadn't worked and I was rather desperate, so I googled it and found the kisbeptin trial. So we completed the first Kispeptin study uh, in 2013 and published this last year and we were able to show for the first time that Kispeptin could stimulate egg maturation and importantly result in the birth of healthy babies. We had to attend the clinic in Hammersmith. It was every other day for a short while. There were lots of blood tests, lots of scans, initially to find out whether we were, were suitable candidates for the trial, which we were, which is good. The trial involved using standard IVF treatment to stimulate um, the patient's eggs to mature, but rather than using HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone, which acts very powerfully and for too long, we used cuspeptin, which is a naturally occurring hormone, to stimulate uh, egg maturation, and this did so very effectively and very safely. I can't tell you how excited I was when I found out I was pregnant. It's something that we'd waited for for so long. And then we'd gone on the trial and pretty much within the space of four months, there was this tiny little heartbeat on the screen. I love being a mum. It's the best thing that I've ever done. Since Izzy has arrived, nothing else matters. She's my world. I, I love her to bits. She's brilliant. So we're very excited by the data. And if our further studies show in a larger group of patients that this continues to be a promising approach, we would see Cuspeptin being able to translate into the clinic very rapidly. It's made Robert and I very happy, and I couldn't have done it without them. I'm just delighted and so thankful.